Saudi Krab. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm your host, JP Mistanza, and it's Wednesday, February 12th. Let's start with our top story. The two boat captains who were involved in the tourist speedboat collision that killed two Russian children and left over a dozen other tourists injured, police are confirming that they are now facing charges of reckless behavior causing death and injury. On Monday morning, two speedboats, the ALP-11 and the Bayan 5, they collided in the channel linking Royal Phuket Marina and Phuket Boat Lagoon to Pengna Bay. A Russian boy aged 12 and a little girl aged 9, also Russian, they were killed in the incident, while 19 of the remaining tourists were rushed to hospitals for immediate treatment. All but two, a 52-year-old woman and a 29-year-old man, they were all discharged already from the hospital. The boat captains of both vessels have been arrested and are being held at Phuket Provincial Court on charges of reckless driving causing death and injury, which they both deny. Meanwhile, following a visit from the Marine Chief, new safety measures have been implemented including the dredging of the canal in order to widen the navigable channel where the incident took place, while also implementing a speed limit of 5 knots to narrow and shallow canals, in addition for mandatory safety awareness courses for boat captains in Phuket. Phuket Health and Marine officials say precautionary safety measures will take place as Phuket welcomes at least 17 cruise ships in the next coming months, with four cruise ships filled with tourists coming to the island this week alone. Tomorrow, two cruise liners will arrive to Phuket, bringing a total of 4,068 tourists, ship crew and staff, one of which comes from Hong Kong and will arrive at the Phuket Deep Sea Port at 7 a.m. The other cruise liner is from Singapore, set to arrive at 10 a.m. in Patong. Two more cruise liners are set to arrive on Friday and Saturday, recording to Phuket Marine Chief Director Wiwa Chichar Wong. Health officers will be on hand to screen all tourists who choose to come ashore to Phuket. The news comes after Thailand's public health minister refused to allow anyone on the Japanese cruise ship, the Westerdam, to disembark at the Lam Chabang port which followed Japan itself not allowing any persons on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship to disembark, which has 174 people confirmed infected with the newly named COVID-19 virus as it has become the largest single cluster of the disease outside of China, where it has now killed more than 1,100 people. Thousands of officials and volunteers on Wednesday came together to clean up the area soiled by the blood and violence of the weekend's rampage by a rogue soldier. They washed down and broomed out areas of the Terminal 21 Mall in Nakon Rachasima, including the temple that was shot up, as well as the roads between them and the 2nd Army Support Command where the killing started, among other spots. Before the cleanup began, participants observed a minute's silence in memory of the 29 victims slain in the incident over the weekend. Governor of Nakon Rachasima, Wichian Chanto Nanatai, said a merit-making ceremony would be held at Terminal 21 Mall on Thursday morning and it would be reopened in the afternoon. Meanwhile, donations continued to flood in to help the victims and their families with a fund exceeded 40 million baht as of this morning. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Sit tight, Phuket, I shall be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A 17-year-old boy is now dead after another teenager accidentally shot him in the face while showing off a homemade gun to a group of friends just this morning. The incident took place early this morning at 4.20 a.m. in Kalasim Province's Muang District. When police arrived at the scene, they found 17-year-old Tarin Pindraj's body on the floor and a friend told police that a group of friends had come over the house one of whom, another 17-year-old, produced a homemade gun to his friends, but said it had accidentally gone off and hit Tarin, and everyone quickly fled. Two others later, just after 6.30 a.m., two hours later, just after 6.30 a.m., the 17-year-old allegedly responsible for the shooting death, he surrendered to police, saying he threw the weapon into the water under a bridge. At last report, divers were still looking for the gun. After spending three years in prison, convicted of theft, Kritsada Muang Prai was finally set to be released at the end of this month, but yesterday morning, he escaped from Bangkok's Klompren Central Prison and a search is now underway. 
Prison officials say Crisada took off around 9 a.m. while working the car care zone inside the prison, which is part of his pre-release job training. And the Corrections Department Director, General Naratsvet Nadan, said there was no known reason for him to escape at this time, so close to his release. Gritzada was originally sentenced to six years for theft, but it was later commuted to three years and was due for release on February 28th. An investigation into the escape is now underway, which would include whether there was any negligence on the part of prison officials, according to reports. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is being asked to call the police hotline 191. That's 191. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.